Y'all, Usher, <laughs> Kiki Palmer, Darius, the whole thing is a mess. Let's get straight into it. say is that between the simpsons and boondocks i don't know which one is like telling the truth oh, oh you hit the table hey how you doing babe uh, hi uh, mr usher i i can't believe it's you i'm sarah <laughs> you have a beautiful smile sarah sarah smile uh, Woo! Oh, won't you smile and welcome me, <laughs> Sarah? Oh, wonderful! Thank you, oh, oh God, uh, that was beautiful. This is what I do. Oh, um, <laughs> this is uh, Tom. Yes, I'm Tom. <laughs> Just Tom. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Y'all, <Yeah>, Usher. <laughs> Kiki Palmer, Darius, the whole thing is a mess. Let's get straight into it. Hey everyone, it's me, Asha C. Welcome back to my channel. Today ain't no rap talk. We just, we just, we ain't, we ain't even talking about a whole lot of topics. We are talking about one topic. We're talking about Kiki Palmer, Usher, and her boyfriend, I don't know if it's ex-boyfriend at this point, and child's father, Darius Dalton. Let's get straight into it. So, just to give you some context of what happened, Usher has had this residency tour that has been has seen a lot of success. People have um, said the reception of the residency has been amazing. People have loved it. And from the clips that I've watched, I've gathered like he is literally killing it. He is a performer. He is an entertainer. He is doing what needs to be done. OK, so Kiki Palmer had a little girl's night out. You know, Kiki Palmer just had a baby. Um, she just interviewed uh, Pre Vice President Kamala Harris. Hello. She has really, she has really been able to have longevity in her career, being a child star, now transitioning into being an adult actress and entertainer, and just overall just likable person. She has been awarded, afforded a lot of opportunities, and she's just maintained relevancy, and she's funny, beautiful, and she's also became a mother, and she lets you know that every single second. But I've been, I've been watching Kiki Palmer since I was a little girl. I've always looked up to her. So... She decided to do a little girls night out with her friends and she went out to the Usher residency show. So Usher had noticed her in the crowd and he kind of serenaded her. Just take a look at the clip. Oh, afterwards, you know, everybody was hyping her up and everything, but her child's father, Darius, did not take a liking to this. He quoted it and said, but you're a mother. And then after the backlash that he got, because people were like, okay, well, you're, you're you know, you're, you're shaming your child's mother. You're being a hater. You're, you know, can't, you can't handle ba a bad, you don't date one. All of this discourse on social media. And so he follows, he, he doesn't he doesn't he stand 10 toes on what he says he says we live in a generation where a man of the family does not want the wife and the mother of his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others and get told how much of a hater he is this is my family and my representation i have standards and morals to what i believe i rest my case let me just tell you they was really they showed no mercy to darius it was so bad that CNN picked it up and then Darius deleted his Instagram and then allegedly they're saying that Kiki Palmer no he deleted his Twitter and they're saying that Kiki Palmer unfollowed Darius Ooh, not good 
bro. That's why you can't brag on men. Because literally, Kiki Palmer a day ago said, not trying to be that person, but I love my man. And it's just like, as soon as you claim a man in public, he embarrasses you. Like, so you just need to love men in private. What's really bad about the situation is that they started pulling up Darius's old tweets. He was very... Um, he showed a lot of tap dancing. He definitely showed a lot of homophobia in his tweets. So, for example, it was the Alton Sterling case, and he hashtagged it, and this is what he said in 2016. He said, what would have happened if Alton Sterling listened and followed orders when the officers yelled repeatedly to get on the ground? People try to ignore the fact that you're supposed to obey the law regardless of the circumstances. Alton Sterling didn't comply. Alton Sterling could have made the situation easier for everybody if he would have followed orders, got his butt on the ground, and not resist. I feel as though with this take is very terrible because it just doesn't matter what you do. You can be the most outstanding citizen. You could literally be innocent and still get um, gunned down by a police officer. So, you know, that's either here nor there. The take was honestly trash and it was really given like tap dancing tease. And so he even said, look at these anti-Trump protests. It's really sickening. I honestly don't even want to vote at this point. Like... You don't, Darius, you don't see, you, you haven't seen who, who Trump is as a person. The xenophobia, the racism, the class, like you ain't, you, you ain't, okay. I'm, it's not even that type of video. That's when people were just, the jokes were just flying in, the think pieces were flying and everything. So he had posted like a picture on his Instagram and he was kind of like shirtless and he said dad bod. And then someone quoted it and was like, you need to put a shirt on. And then like literally a couple days ago, Kiki Palmer was like twerking and he was recording her of how thick that um, her baby Leo had gotten her. And I'm just like, hmm. Now, many people are just like, okay, if you can't handle a baddie, don't date one, right? Kiki Palmer, we're tired of women's bodies being policed because the Essence Festival literally just happened. And so India Irie had said something and commented about women twerking on stages. Janelle Monet has been getting a lot of pushback for her type of raunchiness. Megan Thee Stallion has been getting a lot of pushback. And then think about like Roe versus Wade being overturned. It's a lot of women's body pe being policed. So I can understand the heightened sensitivity and the heightened protectiveness when it comes to women specifically, you know, within the black community, us protecting each other. I understand where that's coming from however here is my take on the situation i feel as though both kiki palmer and both darius were wrong because there's an argument that okay well kiki palmer's the breadwinner and you know he, he doesn't need to talk you know he is the nanny he is this he is that he is that people were even talking brought up um victoria monet's uh child's father uh, Mr. Gaines, Mr. Listen, I tweeted Mr. Gaines, just stay fine, watch Hazel and work out and be an influencer and call it a day. You don't hear not a peep from Mr. Gaines, okay? You don't hear not a peep from Stedman. You don't hear not a peep from Dolly Parton, man. You don't hear a peep from a lot of these women, um, successful women's men that kind of just play the back, you know, back seat, right? In this situation, I feel as though that Kiki and both Derek were wrong. When you are in a relationship, there are certain boundaries and there are certain things that you should not be doing that your partner would not approve of, regardless if it's a celebrity, regardless if it's a regular guy, because I promise you, if this was... If this was like Janet Jackson or somebody, I'm pretty sure the discourse would have been still bashing him. Say if he would have done this, they would have been like, Kiki deserves better, like, no man am I, like, I can already see it. And then just a few months back, Chance the Rapper did the same thing and the internet was kind of divided. And, and you know, everyone was like, well, no, it's Caribbean culture. And I'm just like, okay. And then some people were just like, no, that's disrespectful. You know, Caribbean culture isn't like that. Like there's a boundary, there's a line. So it's just like, which is it? And this is what I keep saying my take on it because there's so many points that's coming in. But my take is that both Kiki and Darius were wrong. The reason why is because, again, there's certain things in a relationship that you should not do. There are certain boundaries that you, you should not cross. However, I just don't see a problem with what Kiki wore. It's not what she wore to Darius. It's what she did and who she did it with. Usher is a very high profile celebrity. He's very famous. She is also very famous and Darius is really not that known. We don't even know who he is. Like I didn't know him until 
Kiki literally got with him. And, you know, that's just, sorry, bro. We don't, we don't know who you are. And people were just like, you know, you can't handle a baby. But I'm just like, me personally, like, I just feel like we kind of have to take emotion out of it and just look at the optics of it. Like, dang, you know, you out, you you feeling good, you you know, you, you feeling sexy or whatever. Then, like, you let this guy serenade you and, you know, kind of hold you. Like, that would make me uncomfortable. I understand Darius's uncomfortableness, but this is where Derek went. D Derek. Darius. This is where Darius went wrong. Darius should not have addressed this on a public platform because I just remember I was just watching uh, it's Kiki, baby it's Kiki Palmer and on her podcast they were talking about Summer Walker and um, the whole situation where Meech was you know a, a girl was caught with a little Meech's chain and Kiki was like you know I would do I would I wouldn't even address the woman. I wouldn't address the woman. I would address you in the closet privately. Happens if you ever had a summer walker situation with me. Some girl was just like, "Yo, uh oh, just, just, just so you know, she was wearing like <laughs> my Eagles jersey." She's not even getting on the line with me. She not, I'm not talking to nobody. I don't care. She could be standing next to you in a picture. My name, I'm blind. <laughs> I'm Stevie Wonder to the bull. And whatever that we going through is, we talking about that in the closet like we uh. ain't nobody like it's on some like he's got a twin brother and so like just for Darius to do the opposite and I understand his frustration but it's just like Kiki is a high profile celebrity and it's just some things that you can't do because it's kind of it's bad for her brand essentially Kiki is loved and adored by many and like this type of publicity is not literally helping if anything. I mean, well, it, it's helping her in a way because it keeps her relevancy and it shows that she is protected and supported. But at the same time, it's like she doesn't need this type of press. It's cheap. She doesn't need the relationship drama and scandal. She is literally like broken so many milestones. And what kind of irritates me a little bit, I'm sorry, is for a lot of like our, I, I don't, I'm not trying to sound like a pick me, but I just feel like sometimes we have to hold other women accountable for certain things. Like, okay, I could see why he's mad, but maybe he went about it wrong. Like, I just don't think that Kiki is a hundred percent innocent in this situation. And I don't think that Darius is a hundred percent innocent either. I think that they both play a part. However, it's just a way that you handle things when it comes to your partner and relationships. And for people to say, oh, you know, he's a hater. He's this. She's getting all this shine. And I'm just like, there we go. When you bring your problems to the internet, this is what happens. Bringing your problems and bringing your relationship to the internet, you're bringing your relationship issues to the internet is an invitation for scrutiny and you don't want that but it's just like at the end of the day you can't you can't dictate how the public is going to react to something so all in all i just feel like this situation pff, it'll pass she ain't gonna lead a man they gonna argue for a bit and the they'll probably get back with each other. I feel as though sometimes, yes, we can have discourse and we can talk about people's relationship, but when it goes to the think pieces and the theories, it's just like, all right, we really don't know these people. Like on a surface level, yes, let's talk about it, but we don't have to get that deep and intertwined in their situation. So let me know what you all think down below in the comments. Was Kiki wrong? And, and, and most of all, what was really funny was that the director of um the boondocks the producer and the director the usher episode of the boondocks was actually a real life thing that happened so honestly just to see it happen in real life in full circle it really was a cackle so let me know what you all think down below in the comments and until next time bye